Hello students, welcome to Quint Concepts, a step towards programmatic education, where our focus is towards the practical approach towards education, not the theoretical one. So Quint Concept is going to introduce the very first course, which is for class 10 CBSC Chemistry. So soon we are going to introduce the course and start uploading the chapter wise videos. So in this video, we are going to discuss the syllabus of chemistry and then we will discuss about the preparation strategy. Like what is the appropriate and the right strategy that you should like manage and you should apply when you are studying, right? So before that, just discuss the entire syllabus of science, right? And the weightage. So the very first unit is chemical substances, nature and behavior. The weightage is 25 marks. The second unit is world of living and the weightage is 23 marks and the third unit is natural phenomena the weightage is 12 marks the fourth unit is effects of current and the weightage is 13 marks and the fifth unit is natural resources the weightage is 7 marks so overall the marks is 80 right the overall weightage is 80 marks right however there are some extra marks which is 20 marks that is of your internal assessment out of which you will get something and that is something that will be uh, assessed on the base of your school performance on the basis of school unit test or that depends on school to school kind of uh, you know rules and regulations so some teachers might take more than one test or some teachers might take only one test then if they are taking more than one test they might take their you know average and then calculate it so basically the internal assessment mark would be out of 20 the overall marks that you are going to give examination for would be of 80 marks and the overall marks will be 800 right so that would be the so that may vary according to the school but uh, the basic and the fundamental like marks breakup is like this right all right so in this video session we are going to cover this unit which is chemical substances nature and behavior right and the weightage is like very much higher so out of all these units the first and the second unit has a good weightage as you can see right so what we are going to cover in this unit let's just uh, check so this unit is divided into five chapters the very first chapter is chemical reactions and equations that we are going to take it very first and then the second chapter is acids base and salts that we will cover the properties of them and then their uses as well same chemical reactions chemical properties everything we are going to cover here and the third chapter is metals and non-metals where we are going to study its physical chemical properties and its uses and the fourth chapter is carbon compounds where we are going to study the versatile nature of carbon the bonding in carbon and the compounds that are formed in car carbon and their reasons right and after that the fifth chapter that will cover is periodic classification of elements so every chapter will be like of different videos like the number of videos will vary as per the requirement of the chapter right okay so that will be the five chapters that we are going to cover but this is not the end of the story for the student who are also preparing for some competitive exams like KVPY, Olympiads or some other foundation courses, right? For them, you have to actually read and study like extra topics. For example, advanced knowledge about periodic table. So there are some terms and then some trends that are not covered in NCRT and CBSC that you have to cover like extra and, and you should learn all those terms and trends and the second uh, important extra topic is chemical kinetics the third one is chemical equilibrium and then the fourth one is ionic equilibrium if you learn the chemical equilibrium learning ionic would be very easy for you and then the fifth one is electrochemistry sixth one is journal organic chemistry and the seventh one is organic compounds so if you learn the carbon and its compounds in CBSE and NCRT then it will create a good base for you and learning these two chapters which is GOC, General Organic Chemistry and Organic Compounds will be a cakewalk for you. Yes, for sure. Alright, so let's see what should be our approach when we are studying 
when we are actually preparing for our examinations so your ultimate approach is not for prepare for the exam but your approach should be to prepare each and every chapter with the same effort right the effort that you are putting that should be equal you should not put your efforts according to the weightage that chapter had but yes obviously the students and the even the teachers they do when they have like limited time but when you are, are preparing from the scratch make sure that you are giving an ap ample amount of time to every chapter so that your basics are clear right so that is all about when concepts are your basic concept should be clear right to create a good infrastructure of your knowledge right all right so what should be your preparation strategy the first should be that your first step should be to read ncrt so whatever chapter you are taking make sure that in the very first step you have read the entire chapter from ncrt book and the second step is attend lectures after reading the chapter make sure that you are attending the lectures maybe in your school in your tuitions or in your coaching center or if you are like using some sort of online resources you can use that if you are not using either you can you can actually watch our concepts quin concepts videos that we are soon going to upload right so you can follow those videos as far as they being upload you can just watch it you can practice it all right so uh, that should be your approach make sure that you are attending at least two to three lectures after that there will be second round of ncrt reading once you are done with the first uh, round of reading and attend lectures the second round of reading with of ncrt will be done and once you are done with the ncrt reading you have to resolve your doubts from your teacher or from a like reliable resource that you found good for you or if you don't have anything you can actually ask your doubts in the telegram link telegram channel link that i have mentioned in the description box of this video you can just go through that channel you can join the channel and you can ask your doubts and you can actually mention about your suggestion if you have and after that you have to practice ncrt questions once you're done with the ncrt questions then your approach should be to practice the reference book questions well this steps is very optional if you don't want to do and if you don't have any reference book that is not a compulsion that is completely optional right that is completely optional right okay then after that practice last year questions that is a compulsory step you cannot skip this one right so these question papers are easily available online if you face any problem please let me know in the comment section or in the telegram channel group please just let me know and if possible i will make a separate videos for those last year question papers or else we can just take up the doubt session right so let's see how the things goes please make sure that you are mentioning any problem that you are facing in between your preparation i'm here to help you out and then you have to test yourself means whatever practice have you done and the chapter reading and everything once you're done with everything then you have to test your knowledge that means that how much you have actually understood that chapter and that got same all the concepts that they that are present in the chapter for that obviously you cannot test yourself you cannot prepare your test papers on your own but obviously you can actually uh, join a test series or maybe you can uh, you know join a test series or you can ask your teacher to um, test your knowledge about that particular chapter well uh, we are also planning for that such kind of platform to be shared here i'm going to like i'm going to actually soon share about those things so let me just upload the videos one by one we will discuss about these things later uh, for sure and after that once you are done with the like testing part you are done with all the revisions part that uh, you have actually got all the feedbacks that in this places you need revisions and then this particular concepts you are very good at you will work on it and after that you will do periodic revisions that means that once you have completed the chapter and you have uh, moved to the other one and then the third one the fourth one make sure that you are revising the earlier chapters don't forget to revise the earlier concepts right Uh, make sure that you are revising in a like in a week or two or a three not more than that don't delay that much make sure that you are revising the concepts and the chapters periodically right well so these were the my suggestions for the preparation strategy
i hope that you have enjoyed this session we have gathered useful information from it and please don't forget to subscribe our channel which is coin concepts and share this video as much as you can so that your classmates and your friends will also get benefits from this video that are, that we are going to soon start all the class 10th chemistry videos cbsc and competitive exams so please share the video as much as you can and the steps towards pragmatic education don't forget that we are sharing a good platform to share a knowledge which is has a practical approach not the theoretical one right so if you want to see this video and watch this video in hindi there is a separate link in the description please go through it and you can get the note of this all the notes of all the videos that will be uploaded in the description box thank you for joining me in this video see you in the next session Thank you bye bye